the Stillwell Road, 500-mile route from Lado, India, through Burma to China. An engineering miracle in two years, and now the first convoy is ready. General Sultan, American commander, congratulates General Lewis Pick, road builder extraordinary, as army vehicles set out on the long haul from Lado to Michinaw, then to a junction with the old Burma Road. mile-long army bridge, one of hundreds constructed en route. Clearing the Japanese out of northern Burma, engineers then built this highway through the wilderness. As the enemy fell back, the road pushed forward. Now at filling stations fed by a pipeline paralleling the road, the American and Chinese truck crews take on gasoline. The convoy heads to Michinaw, then to Wanting, then for the great base of Kunming in China. Honoring General Joseph Stilwell, China's Generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek has named this vital artery the Stilwell Road. Its completion represents a victory in the crucial struggle to rush supplies of war to China. Following Special Envoy Donald Nelson's mission to China, 19 ordnance officers of the Chinese Army are in the United States to study modern production. Here at Northwestern University, they observe methods that China will use in post-war industrialization. At an Army flying school in the West, a graduating class of Chinese air cadets. Trained by the United States Air Forces, they are now qualified combat flyers. The cadets receive their commissions, becoming new flying officers of the Chinese army, who will help win China's fight against the invader. In Denver, Colorado, convalescing veterans of the United States Air Forces, their battle wounds healed, go to work in a bomb factory where their mechanical skills are applied to the vast job of war production. No longer able to fight the enemy at the battlefront, these soldiers now do six hours work a day to make sure that their comrades still in action will have the supplies they need. Physically checked each day as they move toward permanent recovery from injury, the wounded airmen, meanwhile, make a vital contribution to the winning of the war. This army dog is a veteran, trained to be fierce. But now, having served his term of duty, he is honorably discharged. Then begins a training period for rehabilitation back to normal life. At a vacation camp, he learns to play again. In the army, he did guard duty and scouting. He had to be vicious. Now his military training is unlearned. On his way back to his old home. And it's a happy occasion for everybody as he joins his family once again. Hundreds of army dogs like this are being demobilized after reconversion to their former gentle ways at home. The Western Front blazes into fury with new Allied offensives. As Allied troops drive into Germany, from the historic three-power conference in the Crimea comes news of Europe's future. As the military course is set, Russia sweeps toward Berlin and the Western pincers moves tighter. At Hungen, Germany, the British Second Army closes in, 
taking more and more Nazi prisoners. Now, at Bingen, men of the American 7th Army recapture this strategic town. Refugees at Bingen. They had gone into hiding in cellars as the town changed hands back and forth in furious fighting. Now they are evacuated behind the lines. At Hagenau, Americans hold out against a German attack. Temporarily forced back, they dynamite a strategic bridge. At Malmedy in Belgium, shell craters scar the winter landscape, part of a vast barrage. Malmedy, scene of an appalling crime. Here, men of the United States 30th Division uncover the frozen bodies of American soldiers who, after surrendering, were murdered by their German captors. Now, German prisoners watch apprehensively. These are men who have reached an end on Hitler's bloody road as furious new Allied offensives lunge forward on German soil. <laughs> 